My name is Max Leonard, and this is the creative art of object motion. Why would anyone want to record a stop-motion film? How is it different than shooting any other way? Stop-motion, specifically object motion, has many perks. I was interested in the idea of trying to bring character life and motion from objects that would typically lack any of the sort. I've always found that these sorts of stop motions were oddly satisfying or fulfilling in a way, that being that these were weird things that you wouldn't be able to do in reality with a specific lack of physics. Yet these things are being done almost like a magic that you want to believe right in front of your eyes. I chose to try and further understand this particular type of stop motion because I find it as something simple that anyone can try and create with limited money or items. When I was little, I had delved somewhat into different stop motion kits and sets that my parents had bought for me, and I thought it would be a good chance to do some more of that now. I figured out that a lot of thought can go just into the production of a stop motion film, because you have to be very careful to try and get everything right the first try. There's many things that could ruin your stop motion, so you have to plan ahead and be very, very careful taking extra shots or frames in case you may have ruined one by sticking your hand in it. It helps to get used to planning and carrying out that plan that you have formulated. Some stuff that you would want is a storyboard. You can also change that storyboard if you figure out what does and doesn't work when you reach your setup. So always test your setup before you like have your idea set on the storyboard. Like, here I made some changes. The first storyboard was the right one, the second was the left one. I ended up not liking having my figure fall off the chair a second time and climbing back up, so I changed it so I only had to do it once, because it was hard to get it to stay on the chair. So test your setup, make sure everything you want to do is doable. Important notes. Sound is very important to try and sell your stop motion. You want to avoid shooting where somewhere where the light is susceptible to change. And you don't want to really change anything with the camera. Settings, bumping, anything in your shot, like far off where you want it to be going. And you want to follow your object in a linear motion. It, it should be easy for the audience to keep track of. On my setup, I just had a standard setup with all my props that I needed and a, a tripod with my camera. You don't need a tripod, you just need any steady surface that you can keep your item attached to. And you also want a clicker, which I didn't have, which will keep your shots stable when you're trying to take the pictures. When I was editing, I had to edit some things out, some, such as my mother's hand, because the whole row, row of shots had her hand in it. And also, we used a string in a few shots, so I had maybe one set of frames where I had to try and uh, hide string. Creating a stop motion is an experience that was very unique for me. If you think you might be interested, it's easy enough to come up with your own setup. All that's necessary is a phone and a program to assemble and arrange the photos that you take. Finding a stable place of light and any objects necessary is something that anyone should be able to do on the fly. Thank you for listening.